Econine is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers. Beautiful. Nature is beautiful. Even I was in commenting, form. and I think you could hear me, <laughs> that that moose in that yeah. shot is so cute. Yeah. Yes, we do love nature. Yes, we do. Yes. And we love our Eco 9 stories. Welcome back in. A big decision ahead uh, could impact one of our region's most pristine waterways, not to mention the endangered species that live there. This morning, Eco 9 travels to Maryland's eastern shore to Federalsburg, Maryland, to focus on a controversial plan to dump wastewater from a proposed industrial fish farm. Scott Broom has more more on where they plan to dump that water. Well, here we are. This is a place called Marshy Hope Creek on Maryland's eastern shore. It's near a town called Federalsburg. It is one of the most pristine remaining tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. It's also home to a fish that's right out of the dinosaur ages a fish that happens to be endangered, called the Atlantic sturgeon. And this is a place where a company is proposing building a giant industrial scale fish farming factory. It's become very controversial. We need to have more waterways like the Marshy Hope, not less, and this facility could really impact and jeopardize that water body. Josh Kurtz, the Maryland program director for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, says it is hard to grasp the size of what's being proposed here by a European fish farming company called Aquacon. The building is proposed to be 25 acres. It will be one of the largest buildings in the state of Maryland. Here's the proposed site outside Federalsburg. It's a big soybean field, but the plans call for a 25-acre building the size of six super Walmarts, according to critics who say it will be nothing less than an industrial scale fish factory. According to Aquacon's permit applications to the Maryland Department of Environment, the company aims to raise 35 million pounds of salmon a year, all indoors. For perspective, that's more seafood than Maryland's entire commercial fleet caught out in the wild in 2021, according to state statistics. As seen on Aquacon's website, the fish tanks will be filled with well water, chilled, and with salt added to mimic the ocean water wild salmon live in. The company says its water will be continuously recycled, but still Aquacon needs to discharge some waste. So the permit application calls for the discharge of up to 2.3 million gallons of wastewater from this fish farm every day. Critics are really worried about that. That discharge could have pollutants in it that could cause the sturgeon to stop spawning in this last place in the Chesapeake region where this endangered species reproduces. Uh, from an ecological point of view, it was a reckless decision. Dr. Dave Secor, the fisheries expert at the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science, supports aquaculture, but he calls this particular proposal reckless. There are better places for this plant. Um, it's not that we should be against this technology. It's, it's just that it's absolutely the worst place you could cite this kind of plant in Maryland's tidal waters. I couldn't pick a worse place for it. Aquacon representatives did not respond to WUSA 9's request for comment. A public comment period on the proposed state permit has been extended to October 17th, and the state will decide whether to allow it after that. On the Marshy Hope Creek in Federalsburg, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.